Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to discuss tuples. Tuples is another data type that is similar to lists, but there are some differences. So let's start. Um, to create a tuple, you will use parentheses instead of square brackets like in lists, and you will just add your element separated by, by comma. Now, you can also create a tuple with no parentheses. This is totally um, totally okay, you still have a tuple. So you have two options, either with parentheses or with no parentheses. For example, A and B here are totally the same tuple. Now you can go over each element, um, just like you will do in a list using for loop, for example, for I in A, A being this tuple, print I, and you will get uh, individual element in the tuple. You can also concatenate uh, two tuples and you can repeat. So for example, here, A will be one, two, three, B will be four, five, six, repeated twice. So it will be four, five, six, four, five, six. So when you add or concatenate A and B, you will have one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six again, just like this. Now, you can also check for a certain element. For example, A is one, two, three. I want to check is one inside the tuple and you will print true. You can make sure two tuples are the same by double equal. And we also mentioned that you can use or remove parentheses. So let's check if A and B are equal. They are indeed equal. You can access individual element using index that start from zero, just like you will do with list and string. And here you will print one. Uh, this, is, this is one important difference. Uh, when you run this cell, you will get type error, tuple object does not support item assignment. What does this mean is you are not allowed to change a certain element inside a tuple. For example, here you try to change element zero to 33, this is not allowed. This is because tuples are immutable. Basically, they are unchangeable. Once you create a tuple, you cannot change um, its element, individual elements. Okay, however, we were able to do this with lists because lists are immutable or changeable. All right. So one uh, common application or one common um, place you will find tuple is with functions. So for example, here we have function read date, which will read three numbers from the user, one for day, one for the month, and one for the year. Then it will return a tuple of the three inputs. Okay, so, so let's see how do I call this function. Okay, you will call it just as normal with uh, storing the result or the return value in one variable. Now, if I want to access the day, I will use um, the index, so date zero. If I would like to access month, uh, to access month, I will use date one and date two to access year. So when I run this and I hit 2, 12, 2020, I will get my, uh, my date printed as indicated by the print function. So this is one way to call a function that returns a tuple. You store that you store everything, the entire tuple in one variable. And how do I access and access individual element? You will use index. Now the other way is here we have the same function, it returns the same tuple. Uh, however, I will call it differently here. I will call it and store the result inside three variables. Now, what do I get here is I get the first item of the tuple stored in the first variable here. So day will be stored in day, month is stored in month, year is stored in year. These three does not have to be the same as these three. The important thing is that the order, the first one in the return statement will go to the first variable, the second one to the second variable and so on. So when I run this now and I enter to 12, 2020, I will get the same, the same output. 
Okay, that's it for uh, this video and I'll see you in the next one.